Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Got it. Woo! For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Mad Cheese as always. It's hoodie season again. This is episode three of hoodie season. I've been wearing uh, hoodies for three straight episodes, and I'm going to continue to do this as long as possible. At hoodie season in the comment section if you guys want to see me continue this. I, it's important to me. I know nobody cares what I wear, but I've been wearing like regular t-shirts forever, and I don't wear, like I'm a hoodie guy. So to be able to wear hoodies in my videos, I just feel that much more comfortable, that much more relaxed, which is probably why I'm talking about it at length like I am right now. So, as always, we have a defensive video for you guys today. This is probably where the editing is going to come in because I'm probably going to mess up. But ultimately, uh, yeah, defensive video today. Uh, the defense I'm going to show you guys today, a lot of you guys probably see me run a million times. Going back to last year, this has been one of my favorite defenses. And all of a sudden, I'm noticing like all the pros are running uh, this particular formation. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you guys the formation. The formation is the 4-3, even 6-1. Like I said, I've been on this since last year. I ran this blitz a million times. The blitz I'm going to show you guys today, a million times out of my Kansas State Chiefs defensive ebook. I'm not in the Chiefs anymore. When I switched ebooks, when I switched defensive books this year, it was important for me that whatever book I chose had the 4-3 in it. And I didn't know it was going to suddenly become like a meta formation like all the, all the pros are running. Uh, but like I said, I'm going to show you guys how I've been running it and I'm going to show you guys how they run it. You guys can figure out which one's better. You can, it's up to you. I personally like the style that I run it because I've been running for so long. I'm going to keep running it this way. Uh, it's a little bit more of a setup than the pros, but ultimately, uh, I just like what it gives me. So the play that I'm going to show you guys, and this is the one thing that I probably took away from watching the pros. I'm like, yeah, I probably shouldn't have been running that coverage. Typically, I used to run it out of the cover four quarters, which is not a great defense. I just liked how it essentially uh, covered mid-range really well. But I started messing around with the coverage that I saw a lot of pros using. And cover two is a lot better this year. So I started running cover two, and obviously, you can see there's a huge difference in average. I love cover two. This year, cover two, to me, is the better coverage. And I probably shouldn't be running set of cover two a lot, lo a lot sooner. So that's the play I'm going to show you guys today, the cover two. But I still like some of the other coverages, especially the man coverage. I have a breakdown of these two plays. I will have links in the description for the, the essentially the rest of the scheme. But if you guys want to see more Woo! out of this scheme, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. I'll, I'll do a full scheme of this defense in the future if you guys want to see that. So let's go ahead and let's pick that cover two. On the defensive side, we're going to go three different levels here. We're going to just pick multiple different plays. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pick the level sale to start. Then I'm going to pick the PA crossers where I'm going to block the running back. Then I'm going to pick a third play where, you know, I'm just going to continuously add to the blocking to the point where you can see this play is still going to be successful. So let's go and let's pick the level sale just to show you. A lot of people run plays where there's no blocking back. As always, got to do my plug for my coin sponsors, AOEH.com. You guys don't know how much they do for me. I know how much they do for you because I get a lot of comments saying that you guys have bought coins from them. Uh, and I appreciate that too, by the way. I appreciate the support from all the people that buy coins through my coin sponsor because it does support this channel. But as always, if you guys want to support this channel and you need coins for your mud team, check them out. Link in the description below. It's your discount code MONEY. You get 3% off. It's always guaranteed to be the cheapest coins on the market. So I appreciate you guys for hooking me up with that. Now, as far as this defense goes, like I said, there's, there's multiple ways to run this. I'm going to show you the way that I've been doing it up to a year. Uh, it might be a little bit of a longer setup, but to me, it's a little bit more consistent when it comes to run plays, especially uh, because there's not as much gaps. Uh, but it's a really good pressure package. So without a doubt, easiest way to do this play. I'm going to do my, my, my Y triangle to bring up my coverage adjustments. Then I'm going to base a line, and then I'm going to do it again, base a line and show blitz. Uh, and that brings all the, uh, the, the, the defenders down. I can also uh, show blitz again to back these guys off, uh, which I think is just fine because ultimately I find that hard flatting or the blitz like this is going to make the most sense so this is pretty much going to be the base then the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to use my d-pad to the left and down to pinch that defensive line then i'm going to go the opposite direction 
D-pad and the, to the right and down to uh, basically blitz all my linebackers. Then the last thing I'm gonna do is D-pad to the left and up to slant outside. I'll have a setup in the description because I know that's a lot. Now there, I didn't even get to do everything, but you can see this, I wasn't even paying attention. I didn't even do the full setup right, and I still got the sack. Obviously, I mean, there's only five blockers, so that plays a big part, but let's go to the replay because like I said, I didn't even do everything I was supposed to be doing, but you could see the alignment. The fact that I'm hard flying, the fact that these safeties are playing a little bit closer to the box than normal, it's going to make it to the point where they get involved in early routes maybe a little bit sooner than normal but ultimately I did hard flat so even though these guys are backed off they will play down to the point where they're gonna get in the way of the uh, the, the short check and releases now as far as the, the the blitz goes like I said I want to typically be down over the center but you can see once again we have an additional additional guy sprinting in so nobody's gonna really get open in the amount of time needed so basically it's a six on five which is pretty obvious but the purpose of this and me showing this in the replay is ultimately this a alignment this spread this angle is why these guys will basically sprint in past anybody uh, as you can see it's just they're just going to take a an instant path to the quarterback that's something that i feel that my setup gives that the, maybe the the pro setup doesn't necessarily give so first we'll do it with a play action running back which will be the pa crossers it's the exact same setup although i already kind of messed it up but boom we got it right there like i said we're just going to basically pinch the defensive line and slant them out then we're just going to blitz all and guess pass i didn't really mention there uh so it's a really quick setup it's really not that long if you're used to doing it like i said i've been doing it for over a year i could do it with a blindfold on so then i really have two options now, number one this is a play action play so the running back is going to stay in and block but i find that the best way to get pressure on a play like this and the majority of these plays is going to be taking this guy here whoever's over the running back and bring him in. This is gonna be my user. I bring him into the line because I want this offensive line to shift in my direction. So basically, the path to the around the running back is going to be quickest from this defensive end, the op the guy opposite the running back, because the play axe is basically going to take him out of the play. And me being on this side basically gives me the opportunity to basically just drop back right away or cover the running back if I want to, you know, if I hard flat or whatever I want to do. Whatever I decide to do, this gives me an option to basically be the center of the field or to be, um, you know, like I said, take away the running back or whoever. So I'm going to stay over this tackle for just a second, then basically drop back and you can see the guy just gets in free, which is something that I put out in my previous schemes. Now I can get heat off of both sides it really just depends on you know what I decide to do as far as who I decide to use her so we're gonna do our setup one more time and then I'm just gonna bring this guy down this time I'll bring him down over the center and you're gonna see both sides are gonna come off off the off the edge on both sides so you can see running back doesn't have a shot I mean that's just like stealing so we're going to pick that play again now I'm gonna pick a play where uh, I have um, you know, at least a running back blocking with no play action at all. I want no play action. It's like right here, the inside cross. So we're going to have a six on six now. As you can see, that's my setup. I mean, that's how quick it takes me to do it. That was like a half a second. I didn't really, I know, I, like I said, I've been doing this a long time. And, my, and for people that are watching, if you've been doing this since last year with me, then you definitely have, uh, you know, an advantage. You should be able to get that set up in pretty quick. But like I said, there's a couple different ways I can do it. Come down right over the center, basically just, you know, hold this center for a second sometimes i can do it long enough to hold the running back you can see boom we just have a guy flying off the edge even with the running back blocking he ended up blocking nobody now this is also something that i saw in another breakdown where essentially uh lining up just to the left uh, the center can help and i think that in this particular instance it helped to keep the running back forward because i think that they he thought i was going to a gap but ultimately that's really an important part of this when getting uh the pressure off the opposite side of the running back is you do have to basically come down to this gap and like i said i don't have to engage but i basically just have to you know hold that spot for a, for long enough for a blocker to to, to notice me so we'll go and do that again like i said a really easy setup I said most important part is definitely guessing blitz and definitely zoning all, which I didn't even do there. But like I said, for whatever reason, I, I hear that it helps to have your arrow pointing on the opposite end of the tight end. And I'll go ahead and I'll do it the other way and we'll see what happens. Like I said, this here, let's see if we get the, the blitzer off the other side. As you can see, it didn't really matter. We get the same blitzer off the same edge. So that's something which I'm not 100% sure, sure if it matters. Like I said, it's nothing that I ever really messed with before. But we have a six on six. Just got to make sure we get everybody in the position here. And we have a very easy play. Like I said, I got to come down right into this guy. You can see he's still peeling off. And we're still getting a free runner pretty much every single time. So very easy blitz to set up. And like I said, it's the same as the blitz that I showed. I showed a blitz earlier, a version of this earlier this year. And I showed it last year. It's the exact same setup. But ultimately, I feel like the cover two is probably much better coverage. Now, one of the things that I like about my setup that I think... 
Uh, I'm not sure if you can do this out of the pro setup, as you can actually shoot a lot of gaps when it comes to run plays. So let's go ahead and let's pick that play one more time. We're going to go ahead. We're just going to go. I guess we'll just go with an inside zone um, because that's probably the most common. So we'll pick that. So really easy setup, at least for me. I know a lot of people are probably going to struggle with this at first. But you can shoot gaps with this, which is basically you just stand back right at about the position to give you. And then you can see how I can basically just run across and take people out. So basically, that's one of the reasons that I like this setup. A lot of people don't know that you can, uh, you know, I don't know if you can do that with the pro setup. I know I can do it with this setup. I just don't get too close to the line. And then basically, just boom, just get right inside and you can take out run plays, especially popular run plays like the inside zone. So like I said, that's pretty much my setups and how I've been using it. I'm going to show you guys the pro setup because, like I said, that's something that, you know, that's kind of the purpose of me doing this video in the first place is because I noticed a lot of pros are using this play. So let's go and let's pick that. So my understanding of how the pro players are doing this is they're basically uh, shifting their defense towards the tight end. Only You only have to do that, apparently, if there is a tight end on the field. I don't know if you have to do that otherwise. But typically, that's something that you, you don't necessarily have to do. The rest of the steps are pretty much the same. That's the only defensive line shift that they make. But as far as blitzing all the linebackers, as far as slanting your defensive line outside, these things are all parts that I showed. Guessing pass obviously helps. And then bringing this guy down over the center is also important. I did see a video where a guy even went as far as to say that where this arrow points is important, which I'm not 100% sure is true or not. But ultimately, that's really the only difference. Now, when I look at this, I see a little bit of opportunity when it comes to run gaps. As you see there, I actually get sucked in. And the blitz got picked up. So like I said, that's not my setup uh maybe there's a step that i didn't necessarily get but ultimately you can see how you know to me like i said this is something that uh i've been running uh, a different way for a very long time i don't want to say that my way is the right way uh, or anything like that but i'm just showing you how i saw it be run from a uh, more of a pro perspective and you know this is something where maybe i just have to pull this guard a little or this center a little bit better so let's go and let's do that again like i said i'm coming down the gap a little bit more you can see we definitely got a free rusher there uh, as he gets it off to the drag pretty quickly so let me know in the comments section which setup works better for you guys the pro setup or my setup my setup's a little bit longer so for a lot of you guys maybe the shorter setup will be better uh, i'm just curious to know because like i said i've been running this for a very long time let me know in the comment section give me a little feedback i'm gonna end the video there though if you guys want to see a full scheme out of this particular uh series of plays this particular defense hit the like button let me know in the comment section i'll make sure to put that out at a later date other than that thanks for watching man wish it out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below Thank you.